project funding external and internal sources so if you recall we started uh, by creating the award and the award is funded by department of homeland security for building a justice center and 80% uh, of that is uh, funded externally by department of homeland security and rest of the 20% is from the internal sources you can always change these uh, percentage of funding from external to internal it's up to you um, and it may differ in real time scenarios okay so i will go back to the project and now i'm going to define the funding for that project so we'll have to define the funding first at the award level then we'll come back and then create the project budget okay so i'm going to go back to oracle fusion instance so there i am in oracle fusion instance and those of you who are new um, to this particular course we are on a release 21d of oracle cloud application so this is the latest uh, fusion cloud instance at the moment so now in order to uh, define the funding all you have to do is uh, first save the record and then you go and click on this next cycle or next step called as funding in the award so the good part is you don't have to really go separately uh, everything is in right in one place but you can always uh, define these separately as well you can manually create an award then you can uh, go back and manually create a project in the project workbench and here you can come back and there is a place wherein you can specify an existing project to the award and um, that way you don't have to associate the project on the fly so let's say if I say add and here you can click from the existing project name as well instead of creating a project from scratch okay so you can create project in the background come back to award workbench and associate that project in the award okay that's what I meant now anyway going back to funding so basically you can do it separately or within that particular award workbench just as I am doing it here if you do it here it's easier and you basically carry on step by step procedure and now uh, in order to find the funding all you have to do is hit the add funding button so presently as you could see the funding is zero so you click on add funding and here um, you say some funding um, number so let's say first of all you've got to choose the budget period so I'm gonna say budget period one which is associated with uh, financial year 21-22 and funding source is Department of Homeland Security which is the external funding source and here you can specify the number of uh, just for tracking this particular funding so I'm gonna say base one and then you specify the date of funding so today's date and what is the direct funding amount so here I have an Excel in which I have uh, calculated the direct funding amount and indirect funding amount so I've noted down and we'll use the same thing going forward so that's the funding amount we will be using it so sponsored amount as you could see it's uh, seven million and then fifty thousand dollars whereas uh, that is in total which includes both the uh, sponsored and internal funding whereas the sponsored funding is uh, 4.7 million dollar whereas internal funding is 2.3 million dollar okay so I'm gonna have to take this particular amount um, I don't know if it lets me copy so let's say 4750 I'm gonna go okay I'm gonna give something like this okay it lets me copy and then we leave this indirect funding amount so basically the total funding is this uh, amount as you could see the project name it has come automatically what we have created the project there is only one project at the moment however if you have added multiple project to this particular award then you have an option to choose it from a list of values you've got to remember that you can have uh, one to many relationships so one award can fund multiple projects likewise uh, you can also have one project associated with multiple awards okay so there is a uh, one to many relationship between award and project funding so at this point you simply save and close 
So basically that one is external funding. And likewise, we'll also define the internal funding amount. And then you add the internal funding amount. So as soon as I have added, you see these figures have come over here. And at the bottom, you see the um, graphical user interface showing the funding summary and project funding details. Okay. Now I'm going to hit the add button. And again, I'm going to choose one like this. And uh, this is the budget period. And then funding source this time is internal matching funds. And then number is, say, base INT1, just to uniquely identify this internal funding. And the direct funding amount here I have in Excel. I believe it was uh, $2.3 million. So, but let's go back and pick up that amount which is over here 2.3 million dollars so I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it over here like this okay so that way we have uh, internal funding for this uh, project that we have just defined okay and I'm going to hit the save and close but if you want to associate with another project all you have to do is use this particular plus icon like this and choose the project which you have assigned to the award Presently, only one project will come because only one project has been assigned to the award. But if you have multiple projects assigned to this award, then the list of values will contain more than one project. And then you can split the funding between multiple projects. Okay. Having said that, you can simply go ahead and hit the save and close button. So that will save the details here. Okay. So as you could see, for period one, you have got external funding of uh, approximately $4.7 million and uh, internal funding of uh, $2.3 million. Okay. And once you're done, then you can hit the done button or you can hit the save button over here. It is already saved, I believe. So you can simply go back and then define the project budget. But you've got to make sure that the total funding comes to this amount. You see, it's approximately seven million dollars, seven million fifty thousand dollars comes total funding from both external and internal funding sources. Okay. So in the next lesson, this is what we are going to do. We'll go back to the project and define the budget and make sure that the funding comes to the total of uh, seven million fifty thousand dollars.